A couple months ago, I was lucky enough to be one of a few that were selected to receive a Sprout by HP. As part of the criteria, they wanted me to come up with some ideas for cool things I could build and make using the device, which has a 3D scanner built in. I got my Sprout, and I'm loving every bit of it. The Sprout by HP comes with a touch map and scanner, and also has a touch screen. It comes with an optional keyboard and mouse, but honestly, especially if you're a casual computer user, you can do most functions without a keyboard or mouse at all. The scanner points down at the touch mat and not only projects images onto the touch mat, giving you a second screen to work with, but also scans the touch mat, allowing you to select objects and use the touch mat itself as a touch screen. With the Sprout by HP scanner, you can scan anything from simple paper documents to 3D images. And if you have the optional and separate 3D capture stage, you can scan even more accurate and 360 degree images that you can use for various things like what I'll show you in this demo. I'll share an unboxing of the unit in a future, much less formal video. I wanted to figure out something really cool to do with the computer's 3D scanning capabilities. My geek friend, Chris Perillo, suggested I figure out a way to scan things into Minecraft with a 3D scanner. Naturally, since I literally wrote the book, okay, a book, on Minecraft, I thought this was a really cool idea. I'm afraid to admit I wasn't sure it could be done at the time, but I'm proud to say I figured it out and it's actually fairly simple to do thanks to some simple scripts available online. To do it, you need the Sprout by HP, so you can go buy that at sprout.hp.com or select retail stores, and just a few software programs that will bring you your scanned item into your Minecraft game. Here's what you'll need. First, you'll need a copy of the stable release version of, of a program called MC Edit. You can download this by going to khroki.github.io slash mcedit-unified and clicking on the button at the top. Make sure you don't download the development versions as those do not yet have all the features you need. Once downloaded, you can install the program. I'll show you how to run it for your purposes later. Next, you need a special script created by the user Pepsi underscore on minecraftforum.net that will let you convert the native Sprout by HP 3D scans in .obj file format into mcedit readable format. I've created a downloadable file at www.dropbox.com slash s slash kn04sr9amy5ntvy slash obj to mc.zip question mark dl equals zero. I'll include a link in the YouTube description and on the blog post about this video. When you download this file, just unzip the file and remember where you put it. Now that you have these things, you get to have some fun. Let's start by scanning in your item to the Sprout by HP. To do so, tap 3D Capture on the touch mat. You're going to use the optional 3D Capture stage, which you can purchase at sprout.hp.com for this demo. Select 3D Capture on the screen, and then choose Automatic Scan. You'll then be prompted to connect to the 3D Capture stage. Once the stage is connected, follow the instructions on your screen. You'll be prompted to scan the background. Remove all items from the touch mat and stage, and allow it to scan the background. This prepares the unit for scanning your image. For my purposes, I like to put the stage in the tilt position. To do so, just twist the stage and place your item. It's wise to use the supplied sticky tack to hold it in place as the stage will spin around during the scan. Once your item is in place, you're ready to scan. Select Start Scan and sit back and watch it do its work. Once your scan is done, it will prompt you to have the option to do it again. I recommend doing this as often as you need, each time in a different position, on the side, on its back, flipped around, and so forth, until you've given the computer in every angle you possibly can to develop as accurate a 3D image as possible. When finished, it will save to your hard drive. It will also show up under your 3D scans in the Sprout workspace to use in other projects. Now you just need to export the image into a location you can easily access. To do this, with your 3D image open, select the upper right hand menu and choose Export to OBJ. This will allow you to name the file and select where you want to place it. For your purposes, you'll want it on the desktop for ease of access. Don't forget where you saved your file. Now you're ready to import your 3D image into Minecraft. This is where the fun starts. To import your image into Minecraft, you'll use a program called MCEdit. 
Before you open that though, you need to export the file into a format MC Edit can understand. Remember the OBJ to MC program from earlier? You just need to run it. To run the file, just open up the unzipped directory you unzipped earlier. Run the file obj to mc.exe by double clicking on the file. The program should start running and a new window will pop up with different options. You just need to select your scanned obj file that you just created. To select the file, select the dot 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 button in a obj to mc. Double click on the file you just saved on your desktop and now your file will be loaded. At this point, you can edit any of the options on there. I suggest leaving most of them alone unless you know what you're doing. Now hit convert and your file will be created in the same place as your original OBJ file. Let's import it into MC Edit, which will allow us to choose where in your Minecraft world you want to place your newly scanned item. First of all, it's important to note that OBJ to MC does not scan in color, so your object will be in a gray, generic stone type of Minecraft block. Maybe if someone updates a new program to update these color, I'll do another video. Let's start by opening MC Edit. Just double click on the MC Edit executable once you've installed the program. Now open up the map from your Minecraft world. Click on Import, and then select your scanned object. Now place it where you want it to go in your world. Select Save, and your object will now be there when you visit Minecraft. In future videos, I'll show you how to upload your Sprout by HP scans into a Minecraft server so you can share with other friends and never lose your objects. I'll also show you how to take objects you place or create inside Minecraft itself and print them out on a 3D printer like the sub $1000 journal 3D idea builder which works quite well with the Sprout by HP. I will also note that HP sent me one of these to review which I will share in a future episode. The Sprout by HP opens up a whole world of possibilities for makers and hackers like myself. I can take practically anything from the real world, import it into the digital, and even produce it back into the real world again in a new but more creative dimension. My mind has had a mad rush of thoughts and ideas of things that can be scanned, modified, and even printed out using all the different and cool sensors on the machine. I can't wait to come up with new possibilities and ways to improve on all of this, perhaps maybe even developing a UI inside the Sprout itself to import these into your Minecraft game. The possibilities are endless. To get the Sprout by HP, go to sprout.hp.com. I'll include a link in the description. I also suggest the 3D capture stage for more accurate 3D images. The Dremel 3D Idea Builder can also be purchased from a link on the HP website, and I've had a blast turning my digital creations into physical with the Dremel. A special thanks again to HP for sending me this amazing, amazing product. Now go make things! No way, there's more! So like my stuff, and subscribe if you want to see more. You don't want to miss it. Like it, and subscribe.